How much horror is too much horror? And what does it do to your brain? After hours and days, will you go mad? Will you be paranoid? Some studies say you'll develop insomnia, and the rumors say extreme hallucination. But is this true? I honestly don't know. But I'm gonna test it, and surely it can't be that bad. I honestly have no clue how I'm gonna feel after this. Okay, let's do this. We are gonna go and into a hole where we will be trapped, enclosed, suffering day by day, hour by hour with no light, but things lurking in the shadow. Does that sound dramatic enough? I hope that sounds dramatic enough. So how am I going to achieve being tortured by horror? Minecraft is very dependent on accidental encounters. Unlike horror games where it basically is a crafted experience. So we have to like maximize the chances of coming across any horror? Introducing tunnels. Or oh, that's my reasoning why. Now I gotta be completely honest. We're probably just gonna get killed by zombies, you know, for the first couple of days. And I can sing, and I can't see a single thing. Okay, day one, we have got mutant and monsters. I don't want any of the horror to get old, because let's be honest, with Minecraft, when you work out specific mods, it's not scary anymore because you've learned the mecha mechanicalisms. <laughs> yes, that word. So each day I'm gonna add a new mod, and I don't, I, and I'm gonna do it for a hundred days because I'm smart and it's a good number. A hundred is a good number. It's a very YouTube number. I know, right? A hundred mods means I'm never going to get used to the mechanics. Everything should be fresh and hopefully I should have horror constantly. It does mean though that that's gonna be 33 hours of horror. So we have 99 mods to add and 33 hours to go. Oh my gosh, the tunnel goes further. Well, do I feel horror? Do I feel fear and dread? Um, horror, fear. No. Oh. Oh. Well, so far, I wouldn't really call that horror. I would call that panic and overwhelm. There needs to be nuance with horror. Well, that was an awful start. I was lacking in any sort of atmosphere at all. I might as well had the Minecraft theme playing in the background. I had to start carefully crafting the mods to make it actually scary. Well, we've got to have the atmosphere, right? So we gotta add sounds. Okay, we have added two sound mods. Yeah, and dynamic lights. So over the next 10 days, my goal became very clear. I needed to focus on building an atmosphere. The mods kept building dripping sounds, dynamic lights, hallucinations, true Herobrine graveyard. And of course, we can't forget realistic torches. But more interestingly, the atmosphere and this experience was having an unintended effect. Am I good at my job? I don't know. <gasps> Daylight, my eyes are not gonna hurt anymore. Can I just say, being in the dark for long periods of time in Minecraft does horrible things to your eyes. I feel like my eyes have all readjusted. I have a torch. This whole time I had a torch and I wasn't using it. So we weren't getting hallucinations or paranoia or insomnia, but we were getting eye strain from being in the dark the whole time. And that was only day five. And we still had a lot of atmosphere to build, even if it wasn't quite going as planned. Maybe we haven't sorted out the mob, like the amount of spawning mobs yet, because we're, we're still building it, right? We're still building the experience of horror. I see an enderman over there. One thing I will say, I am a bit more worried about dying. Just from the point of view, I don't know if I could get my stuff back. That's... Oh my god! I can't move! Day seven, we introduced bad mobs. This now meant we could stop zombies and skeletons spawning, making room for just the monsters. And the absence of being chased by zombies constantly was starting to actually affect me. So the question is, why am I doing this? I could ask that all day, but do you perhaps remember watching your first horror playthrough? Perhaps it was FNAF or Amnesia. First you start watching, just for like the funny reactions to the jump scares, but then the game intrigues you and you slowly think, what makes this good? And then you watch more horror games and then they get better and then you find games like PT or Soma and you see the art and the complexity horror games can bring. Hiding in my little shelter gave me time to think. So I've got a 
flashlight now if we're going to be, you know, extra spooky. One thing that I was going to say is really, really weird. The fact that getting rid of, like, the majority of the monsters makes it so much more stressful when you come across one. And I don't know if that's just me. At this point, I had been doing it for five hours. And the stress and the horror atmosphere just finally felt like it was in full swing. And it was time to add the last touch. So uh, this is day 16 and I have made a little bit of a mistake. And what I mean by little bit of mistake is one of the things we've added is new shaders. And I can't see anything which means you can't see anything, but hey, it's fine. Father, do you know I'm so smart? Yes, I, 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 you've I'm been telling me this. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm super duper smart. <laughs> Please believe me. <laughs> just, just, just ignore me for a moment. I just want that. If you noticed, don't really like the sounds too much. I mean, yeah, my goal was to add atmosphere. As success, I guess. So why horror? I personally love the horror genre. Unlike a lot of other genres, horror sets out to invoke the primary emotion of fear. I mean, it's very rarely people will react differently to a jump scare, where unlike comedy, it's very dependent on your tastes. But horror is so engrossed in human nature that it literally connects everyone. But I had one annoying problem. Most of the monsters have not been hard to deal with, but there was one, the smiling dog. And not really one, because they kept showing up over and over again, causing blindness constantly, so I couldn't go anywhere. Now my torch worked. Is it blindness? Was the dog actually causing blindness? Sorry. The dogs were actually causing blindness. Okay, well. I know. I don't like those dogs. I, I just want to be very clear about that. And I had a revelation. Oh crap, if I've got um, sanity, I'm gonna need a campfire, aren't I? How have I not thought about this the whole time? Uh, I need logs. So yeah, I definitely need wood. I should probably actually go and get a tree. Keep it with me, to be honest. It was day 16 and I was forced out my shelter. I couldn't have safety anymore. Would that mean the horror is more poignant? That's an ant, okay. Hiya, buddy. You look interesting. I just need to get the wood. As you can tell from my lack of energy and lack of enthusiasm, I was not in fact happy. These scares were affecting me, especially with the dogs. Imagine you have built up enough courage to explore the darkness, but then the little light you have gets stripped away from you. You become defenseless and super hyper aware of everything. And it's tiring. Or at least for me, my fear just got replaced by anger. I have no clue even if anger is meant to be an associated response in this experiment. Shit. Oh my god! I hate these dogs. I just want my stuff back. Your frustration builds so much that a horror encounter, something that should be scary, is just another annoyance. Okay, lovely. Love that. Love that. Thank you. I would like completely like give you my attention if I could see you. That's a hand? Question mark? But sometimes all you need is just an IRL experience to snap you out of it. That's, that's nice. Turn up, the, we need to turn up the brightness here so people can see it because this is a lovely experience. I can't oh, see. Oh, help, Robert, do not do this. Your chickens are invited. Oh, okay, well, I just died very sadly. The momentum was broken and one thing was very clear. I didn't know you were a thing, sir. What are you from? Which one? I would like to see your face instead of just, your chains are very lovely though. I, I will tell you that. Oh, I got his soul. It is now mine. Look at it. I will call him Jeff and he will be my friend. Well, I was starting to have fun, I think. There's a clown after me. There's a clown after me. I did not put a clown in here. I just... 
want to be very clear. I did not put a clown in here. Leave me alone. I agree. I agree with everything being said here. Whispers, noises. Looking at campfires is meant to heal you. Guess not. No, disagreed. Disagree. Firmly disagree. Still staring at the campfire. I'm still gonna hope it's gonna help. It's not, it's not gonna, we're just gonna watch me go insane and slowly die and watch things like spawn behind me and kill me. But hey, that was just, you know, a clear problem. You should come and see how scary I've made Minecraft. It's cause I'm going insane. This is meant to stop it, but apparently I'm too far gone. And look, I go out and they're just like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. And I'm like, whoa, so nice. I want a hug, best of hugs great hugs amazing hugs beautiful hugs look at them it's so cute so what do i actually think about the concept of you know the hallucinations and like the fear and the insomnia well i honestly don't know because i've done like long you know 100 day videos before and i haven't you know seen a minecraft zombie walking around the house so i don't think a hallucination that way but also I can understand if you've been watching a horror movie, suddenly like you get a little bit like, oh God, what do I see at the corner of my eye? And you know, you know what I mean? Uh, me? Yes. Sure. Yeah. No, if you like watch a horror movie, you're always like on edge, right? That's if it's a really good one. Yeah. And then sometimes you see stuff at the corner of your eye because like you're like super, um... Scary. Yes, that's the word. Do you agree with that? If you're in a horror game for too long, do you think it could do stuff to your brain? There's yeah. a study saying it could like lead to insomnia and like hallucinations. Yeah, probably. Okay. I don't think Minecraft mods really count as a horror game though. Now you see that's the question, isn't it? It's not really a question. That's the question. I didn't ask a question. That's the question. More of a statement. Do you want me to say a question? That's the... I don't know. Do you I want mean... me to say it as a question? No. Okay. I just want to look stupid. There's an egg behind you. You! The consequences of the monster arguably is the foundation of fear in the mods. And I was definitely not immersed enough. There's still separations through the computer screen from the monsters. 16 hours in, and of course we went to VR. But before that, have you subscribed? And uh, yeah, I spent like 20 minutes talking to a block of dirt before I realized in VR. Smart, I know. Oh God, I don't like it, dirt. But I got company now, hello. You're leaving me, aren't you? I'm leaving. Oh, I thought I had a G. No, I'm fine. There was also now 50 mods. This actually feels way more real. For some reason, I'm less scared than when doing the computer. I guess I'm more used to doing horror on VR. But like the difference is with um, like computer horror, I'm always like scared to connect to it because you can just turn off and you know, I'm looking at blocks, I'm sorry. You can always like turn off and not really focus on it. You know, you still have that outside world to keep you like secure. So that nervous energy, you don't really connect fully with the, what you're looking at. But in VR, you have to fully connect with it, which means I just feel like way more responsive to like the threats around me than being jump scared. And another thing, for full transparency, I had actually died 11 times. Death was old. So if I survived longer, and I struggled longer, and I had the gear, would that make the death more meaningful as I struggled to survive? Just a theory. <sighs> the anxiety of just leaving the shed, I was like, this is... And that eyeball was lovely. Um, well, I would like these, these. Why did they get light? I like the eyeballs, they're very, um... I don't know if hiding is making it worse because I'm desensitizing myself because I'm not exposing myself to it. So maybe that's a theory? Okay, I've had enough of just sitting here waiting for things to come here. I'm just gonna go. Baby Craig. A gift from Craig. Who's Craig? There's someone laughing at me. There's literally an old lady laughing at me and I'm just hiding here because I'm pathetic. From. We're in a cave! Oh, cool. Have I been teleported again? SCP has breached. What does that mean? What does that mean? Am I gonna die? The question is why do this experiment in Minecraft? Why Minecraft? Minecraft horror has always been popular. You want pizza? Minecraft has it. You want a working computer completely in Minecraft? 
Minecraft has it. You want a creature that has been reskinned hundreds and hundreds of times that stalks, hunts, and kills you? Minecraft has it. All jokes aside, the cave dweller. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Definitely one of the most debated topics at the moment. The, the controversy put simply as possible from my understanding. People think because of the overpopularity of the cave dweller that Minecraft horror has become redundant as a genre. Horror is an intriguing genre. Full stop. Do I want to prove Minecraft is scary? Yes. Kind of. Or even experiment if it's scary. I'm curious to be honest, even if I can find a hundred mods that aren't just the cave dweller. I will find some, I know that. Definitely, because the community is so big and so like proactive in making things. But that's the controversy, as far as I understand it. If you really want to know how I'm feeling, I'm still feeling the same as like, when you first do this, you have like a certain amount of excitement. Now I kind of just constantly feel nauseous, but okay, growling, thank you, but not actual like nausea. It's more like, ugh, you know, I know I'm gonna get jump scared at some point, I know it's gonna happen, and I know I'm not gonna enjoy it. That, that's more how I'm feeling. And I, it's a constant pin stomach. It's like, you know you play horror games, and you have a certain amount of excitement and adrenaline for it. That's my arm. I could not tell the difference between my arm and the darkness, blindness thing. But you have a certain amount of excitement for it, right? And you get like the thrill of running away from stuff. I don't have that anymore. More than anything, I just feel a bit angry and frustrated. Horror has, at its core, a negative consequence. Whether that's you getting scared from a jump scare. Like quite literally just, you know, the consequence of a jump scare is horrible. Everyone gets scared by it, it's not pleasant. Either you could also feel disgust, you could feel horror, just general fear, jitter and anxiety. There is a consequence to that medium, which is worth exploring. And I think Minecraft does have the capability, cave dweller aside, to actually express that. Okay, there is a dude, a guy. Anything else in there? Oh, he's just hanging out, chilling, having fun, living his best life. I mean, I wouldn't blame him, but I assume he's probably not going to be very good for my health. I feel like I should say hi instead of just watching him. Maybe I'm the horror monster and I never realized it. I feel like I've been jump scared. Do you think I should just go out and find the horror monsters? They're kind of like just ignoring me at the moment. Yeah. It's not really good content, Maybe is it? Friends, yeah? Yeah, 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 but okay. Socialize. Oh, I've fallen. Maybe learn how to jump. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Oh yeah, and apparently an SCP is broken out, but hey. So look, there's a chap there. I'm gonna ignore him. Oh, that's very rude. I know, I'm so rude. Apparently there's also like, I, I've put like 11, 12, maybe 13 dwellers in here and not a single one has come to get me. Well, I'm blind now. Oh, that's, that's, that's fun. Ooh. Oh, there's two of them. Hiya! Look at them, they're so cute! Oh, he's slowly coming towards me. Is yep. he trying to be threatening? Is that a dweller? No, Probably. it's a dude. I'm pretty sure probably if he touches me, I'm gonna die, but hey. Let's keep on walking. I want to see a Wendigo. I want to see Bert. I don't know if his name is Bert. I'm in a dead end. I'm so sad. No Bert's here. Oh! Noises. Noises. Yeah. Noises. Oh! There's a guy on top saying I see you. Yeah, I heard him. You, s you heard him? Yeah. Is he in the house? Oh, 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 I did want to see you, Wendigo. Oh, <laughs> he's, 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 he's decided that he wants to be friends. Maybe we should meet him, like, it. hi, yeah, buddy, how you doing? Wasn't there another guy down here? Oh, 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 um, uh, okay, uh, um, yeah, I'm being chased. No. No, uh, I think I am. Oh, huh? I don't know, to be honest. Oh, look, it's that guy again. <laughs> I hope he's having a good day. I'm just, you know... So, how am I feeling about this? Yes, yeah, sword man. Oh, there's eyes. I feel like you should narrate my feelings. Um, right. Fear. Terror. I don't feel fear or terror. I'm just kind of like, I'm running. I'm doing something. I'm actively being involved in the scenario. I can't really go any further. Yeah. The guys come to say hello! Hello. Are you my friend? 
I don't think he liked that. Understandable. Oh, hello. This. Why did an anvil have drop behind? Bye bye to you too. There's lightning in a cave. Ow! Why am I seeing diagonal? Simon Helfling. Why was I? S oh. I'm being chased by something. Running away feels like I'm actively participating in something, you know? Oh, he's still coming. I don't know what to do about it. I can't get in here. Oh, you can get in here too. Well, that's a bit mean. I think I prefer running. But I wouldn't be that lucky for long as the monsters disappeared, bringing back the fear I felt earlier. Anybody there? Anybody there? Anybody there? Minecraft did bring scares. It did bring anxiety. Oh, I hear interesting breathing. Oh. Is that the boogeyman? And at some points did invoke fear. But what about insomnia and hallucination? Was well, actually a bit spooky for a bit. Is that the point? The game was definitely broken. And monsters were definitely meant to be spawning. So I just logged in. What happened? I was trying to work out why I'm not getting spawned. Ugh. Gerald's back. Oh, okay, Gerald. I'm confused. Very confused. Do I have to wait in a certain area for a certain amount of time? Or... Why? Why? Oh my gosh! Did I get insomnia? No. Did I get hallucinations? Well, uh, I actually forgot about this. I was recording for quite a long time. I did walk past the door and see a lady sitting there in my office chair, but that was just my jacket. And I think I was just super tired at this point, but I wanted to be honest. So take it with a grain of salt. Well, I hear... Oh. Is that Brad? Ah, uh, sword, yes. Ooh. How? Oh, how oh, there? Um, was something question mark? Was something stopping stuff spawning earlier? Oh, okay. So this is it crashing again. Things were breaking so much and it was the 99th day and I had one last mod to add and I thought what the hell this should just be fun. I am tiny I'm just not in VR. Oh my god what did I do? I it looks like someone sat on me. <laughs> I look like a cartoon character that's been hit by a bus like run over by a bus. It hasn't done my width at all it's just squished me. This is fun. Everything is awesome. Okay, now I am actually tiny. Okay. This is going to go extremely well. <gasps> I'm so tiny and so quick and fast. And I bet they can't catch me. They can't catch me. I'm too quick. I'm too quick. I was meant to bring a torch with me, but hey. I'm too quick. I'm in a hole. I cannot move. <laughs> this torture subscribe i have more on the way